This is a general collective message, so only take what applies and let the rest fly. Most importantly, be sure to watch responsibly and always vibe with your tribe. Aloha everybody, this is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Fa'afitai telelava for being here today. Let's see what messages spirit has for you. What's up fam, it's Joey. Let's jump into this message here today. I got a channel message here uh, to start us off. There's somebody in your energy. I, I saw eyes, okay? A pair of weird eyes. And I made a thumbnail about that, right? And I'm gonna show y'all the thumbnail that I came up with. This is a thumbnail that I have. It's a pair of eyes that are spying on you. Somebody is all in your business here. Somebody is spying, is giving weirdo and kind of crazy type of vibes. Like this is not, this is not the kind of spying or like, you know, when somebody's interested in you because they're like, it's innocent or, um, somebody's in love or having a crush or they're wanting to just be a friend or whatever it is. It's not like anything like that. This is of, of a more sinister nature is what I picked up here. That's why it, it sent off red flags because of the, the sinister nature. Somebody is spying, obsessed and all being competitive as well too. Envious. All wrapped into one. That's why it was so weird. The energy here. Hmm. It's so weird. And so what I, I, I pull some cards for us uh from the evil eye messages and i'm gonna use a couple other decks on whatever wherever i am drawn to but yeah this energy just is, is not sitting well with me it is it, somebody is just trying to like they're focusing on you so hard they're trying to like siphon your energy here or they have been attempting to siphon your energy it's like it's a weird type of energy. You know when someone some, someone is focusing on you so hard that it's like, you must love this person or you must be in love or infatuated with this person. You pay them so much attention. That is the vibes that I'm getting. This may have been somebody that you worked with. For some people, I'm getting a coworker vibe. I'm going to pull some who cards from this uh, clarifying deck as well. I'm gonna pull some of these cards in a few, but I'm getting coworker vibes. For somebody, I'm getting an ex friend type vibes. And this could even be somebody's ex lover, okay? But uh, I'm mainly getting like an ex acquaintance or something like that. Like, like somebody that wanted to latch on to you. Somebody that wanted to, this is giving, it's giving me parasite vibes. Somebody that wanted to latch onto you. They wanted to hold, because I see somebody holding onto somebody and I'm doing like this with my hands and it's like, what's coming to mind are, are the nails, right? Digging in your skin or holding onto your clothes. Like somebody wanted to hold onto you for dear life. They feel like you are, sir. <laughs> I just heard, you're the inspiration, you brought meaning to my life. It's like, they feel like you are some sort of source of inspiration, some sort of source of power, even. It's giving me, um, like a psychic vampire type of energy that I'm picking up off of this individual. Somebody that may even want to be you, be like you. Want to be you, want to be with you. I'm just, I'm just, I just keep getting this like fingernails, like, and it's low key giving me claws, right? So it's, it, it's giving me creepy type of vibes, creepy type of energy from this person. It's something wrong with this person. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even going to sugar, sugarcoat it. There's something off with this individual. I'm getting claws like sinking their claws into your skin okay it's like somebody's trying to mesh with you or, or mesh with you okay or like melt into you it's like what is that what is that term trying to um merge into you 
it's a weird it, 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 it's a weird type of energy that i'm picking up here from this person okay i'm getting that some of you guys you don't even well a lot of you guys i'm getting that you don't even you don't talk to this person you're not this is not your friend right this is not somebody that you talk to on a regular basis who's who's there you know who you are willfully trying to get to know as an individual trying to maintain a friendship i'm, I'm getting number nine and number ten nine and ten so i feel like some sort of cycle has closed some sort of um opportunity has closed at one point you could have been helping this person out because i'm seeing service to humanity at one point you could have been helping this person out trying to help bring them wisdom trying to help them close out uh negative cycles that they may have been dealing with in their in their own life okay uh but i see closure here completion it's over whatever whatever interaction you guys were meant to have it's over with okay it is done. Hmm. It's done. But this person is lurking and lingering around. It's like they're up to no good. This person is up to no good lingering in your energy. Watching you, showing up, trying to make people feel like you guys are cool or make people think that you guys are friends even when you're when you're not. You don't mess with this person because you guys do not mesh well with each other. You are not on the same frequency. I'm hearing for a lot of y'all, there's there was never anything in between you guys. You were you weren't even you were never friends. You were more so, if anything, you were most more so acquaintances. This person doesn't owe you anything and you don't owe them anything. Is that type of vibe is like there's nothing between us. Nothing. I don't know you, you don't know me. I've done nothing for you. You've done nothing for me. Or maybe something was mutual. Maybe it was a, a verbal exchange or something like that. But either way, I feel like there's no obligation. There's no ties. This person is trying to create that. That's that's what I'm getting. It's, it's weird. It's just weird, bro. Like It's giving me fanned out. Like I low-key used to like you. You know what I'm saying? It's giving me like, I low-key used to like you or I was your fan or I was your number one fan or I was uh, crushing on you, but you did X, Y, Z and now I don't like you. Now I am uh, an enemy. Now I'm an op. Now I'm, now I'm this sick parasite, but I still love you. I still want, it's weird bro, what I'm picking up here. It's weird. This person is attracted to your creativity. I see number three here. Okay, this person is attracted to your creativity. They're attracted to your uh, your success or your ability to succeed. Uh, they are attracted to this. You, some of you guys may have this fun vibe about yourself. They they love that, and they also love. Um, there's a divine nature about you. It may come be coming from your divine connections. Okay, your spiritual connections. And it's funny that we got that I just channeled that because we have the card here, divine support. You have a lot of protection and divine support around you. Okay. So little does this person know is like the more they hang around you, okay, with this weird energy. I just heard sinister with this sinister energy. It's like something's being plot plotted. Something is being plotted, okay, with this individual. It's not like Oh, well, this is an innocent person. They're not going to do anything to you. It's cool. Go ahead and talk to them. Go ahead and be their friend or whatever. No, it's something weird. This person wants to manipulate. They, uh, it, this person, I'm getting for some of y'all, this person may low-key be creating weird fantasies. I am getting also somebody that touches themselves and thinks about you. That is what I'm getting. It's, it, it's even going into that direction for some people here this person may dabble in the metaphysics i feel like this person may also be dabbling with spell work and maybe trying to manifest something that ain't never gonna happen because it takes two to tango you can cast all kind of love spells manipulation spells all you want to but if one if you guys i'm getting you guys are not even on the same frequency that's what i'm getting i'm getting you guys are not even on the same frequency so how is that that your magic going to uh how is it going to stick how is it going to uh apply you know what i'm saying how is it going to download to this individual it, it can't because 
that person is not on the same. You're not on the same frequency. You are not down for whatever this, whatever this person's putting down, you are not down with it. You are not vibing with whatever this person is doing. I feel like this person is trying to, they low key want to pull you down a different type of path that was meant for yourself. They want to pull you away from what's natural. That's confirmation right there. They want to pull you away from what is natural for you. Because I keep hearing the word nature, nature, nature. What is natural for you, your natural likes, your natural dislikes, your natural pathway that you are walking down already without even coming into contact with this person, they are trying to pull you onto a different, I just heard a different timeline. I just heard a different timeline, a different pathway. They're trying to pull you into a paradigm to where your lifestyle is completely different. Your way of thinking is completely different. Okay. For, I mean, for some people, your health is completely different. Okay. Your mental, this could be your mental health, your physical health, or your spiritual health. For some of you people, some of you people, this person may have been sent to you from some sort of cult or some sort of organization, okay? Now, we can we, we can run the gamut on the different, how many different organizations are out there, but, uh, hey, uh, it said a secret society recruiter has their eyes on you. This person may very well have been for some of you guys. This is not going to be for everybody, but for some of you guys, this person was actually sent towards you by a an established group of people, okay? Whether it was a coven, where there was some sort of a uh, secret underground cult group, whatever it is, this person was sent to watch you or sent to recruit you. And for some of you guys, I'm getting, they were sent to, for some of you guys, it, it's more spiritual, okay? It's more spiritual to where this person was inhabited by, oof, okay, we're going there. Uh, this person was inhabited by demonic entities and they were sent to um, pull you onto a different path or trans trans transfer those um, demonic energies over to you to have you be one of them. It's giving me low-key vampire type vibes. Like we're going to try to convert this person to being a vampire. You can use that vampire as a metaphor for many other different things. Okay in life that we go that we go through but listen you guys you have a powerful protection that is around you that is confirmation here with the divine support you have a powerful protection around you this person has been getting readings done on you okay they're trying to find out what you're doing okay they want to know who you're doing it with they want to know where you're doing it they want to know where you live who you live with what's going on but it's not that, that that is not any of their business. It doesn't matter where you live to them. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter who you live with. OK, whether you're living with family, whether you're living with friends, whether you're living with a lover, whether you're living with a wife, a husband, your kids, it, kids, it does not matter. It's not it's none of their business. This person may have low key tried to pry or some of these people are low key. Some of these people are, are actually coming out, asking, verbalizing, like formulating these questions and asking you personal things about your life that don't pertain to them. And some of them, they don't have the cojones, the balls to do that. So what they do is they get readings done. OK, they do these readings because they can. They wouldn't. They know that you're going to look at them crazy or you might even check this person for even coming to you and asking you about your personal business, your personal life. And I'm not saying that you have anything to hide. This has nothing to do with that. But I feel like this person feels like because you are not open with them that you have something to hide. But I'm picking up here that you have nothing to hide. You just don't rock with this individual. You just are not you're like it. And it's OK because everybody's not going to like us. We're not going to like everybody. It, it is OK. There's people for everybody. There's someone for everybody. All right. Whether it's a friendship, whether it's a. You heard a sign. Yeah, that's confirmation. That's confirmation. Whenever I hear a siren, that is letting me know. That the CCTV is on and caught this. 
and whatever I'm divining and channeling to you right now is the truth in this situation for somebody here, okay? Mm. This person may have wanted to be your friend. They may have wanted to be your lover, whatever it is. It's, it's not that. <laughs> this person is a false lighter. It says a false lighter sees you as the blueprint and copies your light. And what I mean by false lighter, this is someone who pretends to uh, be someone of a divine nature. Someone with love, love and kindness and compassion in their heart. Someone who, and um, I don't always like to use these terms, but for this, for, the, for this reading, okay, I'm going to use it. But someone who may be seen as, and you may not profess to be this, but you may be seen as someone who is a earth angel, who's a light worker, who's a star seed, who's an empath, who's chosen one, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like you are out here actually doing those things and not trying to uh, push or play into a, certain, a specific narrative. You know what I'm saying? You are not trying to uh, convince people who you are. You're just out here living your life and a light naturally shines within you a beautiful light shines within you and i feel like this person knows that and this person is a complete opposite okay this but this is someone who this is going to be someone who complains a lot okay i'm picking up on somebody who complains a lot they talk crap a lot they feel like they're the victim they may have come from a broken home and they blame everything on the parents okay i'm not not negating what happened, what, what could have happened to this person, but somebody's always out to get them. Something is always an argument or uh, I'm just getting a lot of like complaining. Like this is the, this is the person to where it's like you it, it, they would make you ask is like, does anything ever every, does anything good ever happen for you? Like in your life, like you just always like miserable, like you're always going through something you're always aggy you know what i mean and what i mean by aggy is like you're always aggravated like there's always something like do you ever genuinely smile is there any goodness in your heart and this is not to rag on anybody but this is just i am describing this individual okay this is a false lighter and you know i'm kind of curious as to what the definition is on that as well should i ask chat gpt or Or Google, let me see. What is a false lighter? Um, okay, you ready? So a false lighter is a term used in the spiritual and tarot community to refer to someone who presents themselves as a positive, supportive, or helpful individual, but actually has ulterior motives or intentions. This person may seem friendly and caring on the surface, but their actions and behavior ultimately harm and deceive harm or deceives others. In the context of tarot readings, a false lighter could be someone who claims to provide guidance, insight, or support through tarot readings or spiritual practices, but is actually using their position to manipulate or take advantage of vulnerable individuals. It is important to be cautious and discerning when seeking guidance from others and to trust your intuition if something feels off or too good to be true. Okay, that is a definition that chat GPT gave us for a false. I'm gonna save that here. I actually I love that definition. It was it was right to the point, you know. It was straight to the point and very, very uh, understandable, right? So this person sees you as a blueprint. So what they're doing, they're watching you. Uh, part of the reason that they're watching you is because they're emulating you. They're imitating you. They're looking at somebody who is of the true light. I don't know what do you call the opposite of a was a, a light worker or the true light, true lighter. I don't know what it is, but. They're looking at somebody who really, truly is of has a, who has a divine calling on their life. Okay, who's actually here to 
uh, help people who actually embodies the gifts that this person I'm hearing that they idolize that they wish that they could have okay and I'm hearing like everybody has their purpose on this earth you know what I mean but this per this, this person I feel like part of their purpose is to I'm hearing manipulate is to deceive and that is why they're watching you they watch people like they watch people like us to know what to say how to say it so this is going to be some that's confirmation there when it talks about things that they're saying so pay attention to people who you know are copying off of other people copying their vernacular copying the you know their sayings all right copy the things that they do copy the way that they're acting you know it's not you know it um sometimes i might see some people and i'm like wow you wow you know wow i know I know exactly, and it and it, and it and it it stands out like a red flag, like a sore thumb, right? That you know exactly. Oh, they got this from that person. Oh, they got this from that this person over here, and you know that. That's a red flag there, cause you, it's when you first see something like that, it doesn't automatically make somebody a false lighter. But if you keep seeing stuff like that, you might want to just pay attention. Okay, you might want to pay attention. And what I see on the bottom of the deck. What's planned against you will not work. Yeah, it's not going to work. How? Look, you are the real. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. I'm here. Ain't nothing like the real thing. You are the real deal. Okay? You're the real thing. They are false lighter. Okay? They are the false of the false light. You are of the true light. Whatever you call it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm but you know what I'm talking about. You are the, of the true light, you know, and whatever they got going for you, because you have you have powerful protection around you. That's what they don't know. See, I feel like this person is highly delusional. I'm picking up these people who I'm picking up now are highly delusional because they they have this false sense of security. I feel like it's, they, they even trick themselves to believe that they are you. Or that they are the same thing as you. <laughs> to where they feel like they have that same divine support. And they feel like they're going to have divine support in doing evil. No, you're going to have demonic support in doing evil. Or whatever supports that type of energy. But you are not going to have that true divine support that seeks balance. Okay, Some people turn against you for nothing. This person turned against you for nothing. You didn't do anything to this person. That's the thing. You just showed up and we're being and, 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 and we're being your your awesome self. That's the thing. Now let, let's get some more who's here. Cause I feel like I've already um picked up on a lot of who's already. Okay. This person could be a father, okay? They could have a child, okay? Um for some people here I heard it could be your your could be your father, okay? For, but this may be a small group, group of individuals. It could be your father. But I feel like this person is a father. This person has a child. A male parent who provides guidance, protection, and love to their children. Serving as a role, serving as role models and sources or uh, strength and stability within the family. This may be your father or a father in general. Okay, I feel like this person may be a deadbeat father. They may not be in their child's life like that. You feel me? They may not be an active force in the child's life this person may have cancer in their chart you can have cancer in your chart too okay i feel like they want to come off as a caregiver okay we got june 22nd through july 22nd as date here as well all right i feel like this person wants to come off their representative okay shows somebody who's uh who's really tapped into spirit okay somebody who's really tapped and tuned in who's very very sensitive to energies uh I'm feeling like this person, if they do have any spiritual gifts, they're using them for the wrong thing, okay? We got nurturing, intuitive, empathic, emotional, sensitive, protective, okay? A family-oriented person and compassionate. This is, I, I, don't, I, don't get, I don't get family-oriented here. I don't get that. I get, I guess, I get distorted energy here, okay? We got reconciled. This could be, I'm telling you, there's somebody who you, it says someone wants to resolve a conflict. Somebody, you got a conflict with this individual, and the conflict may be so minuscule, it may be so minute. Like, 
it could have been this. It, it could it, it could be a flat out. You guys had a disagreement. You guys had an argument or something like that. Or for some of you guys, it could have been that you just saw something negative in this person and you say, you know what? Uh uh. This is where I exit stage left. This is where I bow out of the situation. I don't need to. There's something about this person that is not sitting well within my spirit. So I am going to remove myself from this situation. Okay. So it says someone wants to reckon, someone wants to resolve a conflict, differences, or a misunderstanding, and restore a positive and harmonious relationship. Reconciliation involves acknowledging past agreements, apologizing if necessary, and working together to rebuild trust, understanding, and mutual support. Oh, no, respect. Okay. Well, we could throw support in there as well because it really goes with the territory here. What else we have here for the collective? Tell us about this individual. This is someone who's codependent. Remember I told you guys, uh, it's giving me a uh, vampire, vampiric with the nails. It was giving me nails, you know what I'm saying? Like long nails. For some of you guys, this person has long nails. If it's a female, she has long nails. Hey, if it's a, some men, it might be some men might have long nails. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm getting, ooh. I just heard somebody has a long pinky uh, nail. Somebody has a long pinky nail. And for somebody, and, it may, and I'm not saying that everybody who has long pinky nail does this, but for somebody, your person is a user, if you know what I mean, with that long pinky nail. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that white stuff? Put it underneath the nail and... <laughs> hey, hey, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about codependent this is that vampire with those nails that are sinking into your skin trying to siphon off your energy trying to tap into your resources asking you questions they come around just asking questions oh how you do this where, uh, where you get this from where you get that from let me ask you this let me ask you that da -da -da. they're pumping you for information and then once you give them that they're coming back for more and more and more and more and i'm not talking about like you know uh, 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 and a genuine connection between somebody who's low-key being a mentor to somebody i'm not talking about that i'm talking about somebody who's just using you okay depending on you for something trauma dumping on you even for some people here someone who is overly reliant on another person for their emotional well-being sense of identity or self-worth they may prioritize the needs and desires of the other person to an unhealthy extent, often neglecting their own needs and boundaries in the process. Okay, what else we got here for the collective? What else do we have here? Long term, this has been somebody, this could have been some, this could be somebody who's been in your energy for a long time. Okay, I know some people, if you have a specific person in mind, you may be like, oh no, well, I just met this person. No, this person didn't just meet you. <laughs> I hate to say that, but this person just didn't meet you. And even before you were introduced to this person or they made themselves known to you in some way, fashion or form, they were watching you. They were keeping tabs on you. They were lurking in the background, in the shadows. Okay. Without making themselves known. All right. What else do we have here? I'm getting, it's giving me low vibes. Like. What is your quality of life that you live? You know, you know what I mean? Uh, similar vibes. A person. See, this is how this person wants to come off towards you. They that is the part of their or that was a part of this person's MO. Look, similar vibes. They want to be just like you. OK, they want to emulate you to the point where you feel like, oh, my God, this is my soulmate. This is. This person is a part of my soul tribe, but they are not part of your soul tribe. This person is a karmic, okay? We got unfamiliar on the bottom of the deck, okay? A person whom you do not know or recognize. They are a stranger or someone you have not yet met, making them unknown or not acquainted with you. This could be somebody you met in passing. Or like I said, I'm also getting a low-key... Um, for some of you guys, it could be straight out a stranger. For some of you guys, it could be somebody you just, you, you, you're an, an acquaintance with. And what I mean by acquaintance, this is, you could have even been friends with this person, but now this person was demoted to an acquaintance because you don't know them. You know what I mean? 
you don't know this individual is what I'm getting here. This person could be an introvert or they could come off as an introvert or they could profess to be an introvert. All right. This is somebody that's close by. They lurking in your energy. This person is close either in proximity to your current location. Uh, this individual may be within sight, earshot, or a short distance from where you are, allowing for easy communication, interaction, or engagement with them. And also what I'm getting to, this could be someone who has access to you online as well. And re remember I said co-workers. This could be somebody who is an online co-worker or it could be, you know, a co-worker in a, a, um, in a physical location as well, but it can also be an online co-worker. Okay. Like even let's say if you are a YouTuber, right? This person could also be a, another YouTuber. If you are on TikTok and you post regularly, regularly, if I can say the word, if you post on a regular basis, <laughs> all right, this person could also do the same thing. Okay. So that's just a, a this is a fair weather friend. Look at this confirmation <laughs> right on cue someone who is only supportive or present during good times or when things are going well, but is noticeably absent or unsupportive during difficult or challenging times. They are superficial and disloyal. This person don't care nothing about you. And I, and, and this card fell off the, the thing right here. This is someone who either is intelligent or they come off like that, right? Someone who has a high level of mental compa capacity, cognitive ability. Oh, okay. All right. Another confirmation. So this person is very, very intelligent. I'm getting somebody who's very, very sneaky, very, very conniving person. So it's like they may pretend to be dumb, but they're, they know what they're doing. You know, this is a don't need to ask. He's a smooth operator. This is smooth operator or smooth. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's giving me those type of vibe. Like they real smooth with it. They know how to pretend to let me pretend to be innocent. But the thing about it is, is like when you're tapped and you're tuned in and you're tuned into your intuition and your discernment and whatnot, right? Uh, you're picking up on those energies. That energy frequency does not match with the what they're what they're saying what they're doing this goes beyond the uh what is that um don't listen to their words listen to their actions this goes beyond that that saying this goes over to don't necessarily listen to the words or the actions but trust the energy because the energy will never lie and I felt like a lot of you guys have picked up this weird energy from this person. How this has, if this person has been around you, okay? Someone who has a high level of mental capacity, cognitive ability, sorry, uh, cognitive ability. Uh, hold up. Cognitive ability and problem solving skills. They have a keenness of mind, quick comprehension, and the capacity. I got a confirmation here on my watch. What is that? What is that? The TMZ men of this person, let me tell you something. This person is spreading gossip about you. Uh, okay. They're spreading gossip that they get from these fake ass tarot card readings that they are doing. These readings do not provide them with the accurate information. They're taking whatever they're pulling here. And I feel like a lot of these people are reading their own energies. Yes, they're reading their own energies and they're also being thrown off. I feel like they are projecting, you know, this, this is an individual who I'm getting here, who gets a tarot deck or an Oracle deck and they interpret the cards the way that they want to, to push a specific narrative about an individual. You may watch this person doing a reading and you they, you see the cards and you're like, well, that is not what that means. That's not what that card means. That is not what that one means. But they're pushing it there. They are projecting their own thoughts, their own feelings. They have too much emotion 
invested in the situation to where they're not able to do accurate readings okay at this time so uh they have a keenness of mind quick comprehension and the capacity to learn understand and apply information effectively they may have logical reasoning critical thinking creativity and adaptability allowing them to navigate complex challenges and i feel like you know what i feel like they use these skills mm. they use these skills to imitate your light to copy your light they use these skills to study your blueprint the blueprint of who you are as an individual and they're doing that for some of you guys this person was or is some sort of weird secret admirer okay I'm not saying that all secret admirers are weird. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that this person, this energy right here, this false lighter energy is weird. Okay. This person may be between the ages of, this person may be middle aged between the ages of 31 and 40 or around that age frame. So it could also be like, 31, 40, I'm getting 45, okay, for some people. And even take it down five, five, uh, five ages and up five ages. You know what I mean? Like mm, 25 to 45, okay? Aggressive. Someone who is prone. Okay, this person like to fight or they're very, very hot. They, they can get hostile. I, I feel like in there's something in the way this person talks, something in the way that they express themselves, which will give them away as being someone who's aggressive, someone who's um, who likes to tussle, okay, who likes to fight, um, and um, getting somebody here who likes to actually physically tussle. They like to fight, you know. They've been in a few fights. I'm getting bar fights for somebody here. Somebody may go out to the bars. In clubs get drunk and fight people you know what I mean or, or they've they have done that before someone who is prone to displaying behaviors that are forceful hostile or confrontational they may use physical or verbal aggression to assert dominance intimidate others or achieve their goals acting impulsively and having difficulty controlling their emotions okay Unsolicited advice. This person gives unsolicited advice. Mm. Hmm. Unsolicited advice. They got trickster energy. We got explore. What else we got here? On the bottom of the deck. I pull some cards from the bottom of the deck. What we have here? We have unsolicited advice. Someone who offers guidance, suggestions, or opinions without being asked or invited to do so. They may interject their viewpoints, recommendations, or criticisms into your conversations or interactions without considering your preferences or boundaries. They can have good or bad intentions. And for this one, we see what the intentions are here. I mean, no explanation needed here, okay? We got Leo, the performer. This person may be in the performing arts. They may be somebody who is an influencer, okay? Somebody who is an influencer who does something in front of the camera as well, okay? I'm getting a person who gets in front of the camera. For some people, it could be they could be behind the camera, but I'm mainly picking up somebody who wants to be seen, okay? They want to be seen. They want to be heard because we have the performer Leo energy here. Somebody can have Leo in their chart. Doesn't necessarily have to be. We got the time period of July 23rd through August 22nd, okay? Somebody who's very, very confident, generous, passionate, charismatic, bold creative a leader self-expression drama i feel like some of these key points here they are emulating other people that embody those uh specific key points okay drama is standing out here. <laughs> drama is standing out here very very strong here okay somebody who's very very dramatic somebody who's very very dramatic in their self-expression and it's it's just giving me a dramatic individual who has negative undertones to whatever they say whatever they do there's always some sort of negative undertones even if they're saying something positive there's always something negative at the root of what they're saying you know 
we got trickster vibes here with the year of the rat somebody could be the year of the rat or they could just embody this trickster energy somebody who is quick with it resourceful charming sociable intelligent adaptable ambitious determined agile and clever okay and then we have the year of the horse somebody could be of the year of the horse you could be of the year of the horse this is somebody who is an explorer independent adventurous energetic dynamic sociable charismatic optimistic free spirit courageous determined okay or they could um i just heard want to have those sort of characteristics let me see what else we have here <clears throat> Getting close. This is somebody that wants to get close to you, okay? They want to get close to you in a weird sort of way. Oh, we see that close by. They want to be all up in your energy, okay? But this is someone who you walked away from or you... Uh, this person may have offered their hand in friendship or their hand. They may have offered their hand in marriage or somebody. I don't know, but... Uh, but you you denied it. You didn't you didn't you like mm, no, thank you. Um, I'm gonna go this way. You go walk that way Okay You go walk over there and I'm gonna walk over here Don't follow me. Okay, so it's one of these things because you are evolving as an individual. Okay You may have been cordial with this person at one point, but you probably picked up on that negative undertone Okay, and was like, mm, nah, 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 change of heart. I can't have that. I can't have that. I, I don't, I, I can't do it. You know, I can't do it. <laughs> this person may have overwhelmed you or this person lives an overwhelming lifestyle. They may have a, have a messy life that's full of stress and clutter. Okay, too much going on, too much chaos, too much confusion, too much baggage. This person is out of time here. Okay. This person missed their chance to even have a friendship with you because you are not open to this individual anymore. Okay. There's nothing I'm hearing. There's nothing that they could say or they could do that's going to make you change your mind. So they could keep watching, keep watching and keep looking. You feel me? Tired, tax, battle, struggle. I feel like you guys are tired of fighting with certain people and now. You are using you are using your past lessons to help you navigate the current ones that you're that you're currently experiencing. OK, you guys are tired of fighting with certain people, you know, certain characters when you see them now, when you come across them now. And so, you know, you're like, hey, you know what? Um, no, I'm not going to do this one. Not now with this one right here. We're not going to do this. Um, I'm out. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, I'm getting. <laughs> I'm getting Dragon's Dragon's Den, and I'm I don't I've never seen the American version of Dragon's Den, but I've seen the I've watched like a lot of the UK Dragon's Den right when it first was coming out, and uh, I'm getting somebody wanting some sort of cosign from you, somebody wanting some sort of backing from you, somebody wanting some sort of investment from you. Okay, whether this was a emotional investment. Whether it's a, some sort of physical investment, a material investment, or whether it was some sort of spiritual investment. They wanted you to focus on them. They wanted you to pour into them. You were like, nah, I'm out. You know? <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm, I'm out. It's like, it, it's too too much. It's too big of a risk. I'm out. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. Because it's like, you're like, no. See, see what I'm talking about? Like night walk here. It says getting fresh air, clearing your mind. Okay, being in the moment. It's like you guys, you guys know exactly what you deserve. You know exactly. I'm, I'm hearing some of you guys. You saw this exactly for what it was. You're like, mm, I see where this is going. I see where this could be heading. I'm not. It. I'm no. I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna go out here on my own. I'm on my own. <laughs> That's what I just heard. This person may feel like, oh my god, why'd you leave me out here in the cold? Why did it end this way? You know, but it's like, you're just like, mm -mm, I need to, I need to keep my peace. I need to keep my sanity. I need this fresh air kind of vibe. And you ain't given that, right? But <laughs> we got oblivious here. I felt like this person may have been oblivious in a bubble preoccupied or in La La Land about you walking away. Somebody here, you walked away and this person does not realize that you walked away from them. <laughs> They're oblivious to the fact because they're in their own 
they're in their own head. They have their own thing going, own agenda, and they're trying to act out that, still trying to act out that agenda, but they're not realizing that you are no longer in the picture. You've already exited stage left. You've already walked away. You've already checked out. You're like, mm, nah, 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 nah. We're not gonna, nah. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your lover. I don't mean whatever this is to whoever it is for, right? Because to uh, those of us in the collective, we're going to be in different uh, different scenarios, right? Yeah, you guys are out chasing rainbows. You feel me? Seeking happiness, peace, enjoying your life. And if anything doesn't bring you that, you're not going to participate with it. You're not going to uh, entertain it, okay? Especially this person. Okay, especially this person for some of you guys, this is somebody that you saw. If it wasn't, if this was one of the connections that were more so romantic, you saw this person had wandering eyes. All right, they may be a flirter, somebody who's very, very flirty, who has a lot of options, and you just didn't want to get involved in that. Okay, what else we have here? What else we have here? Wow, somebody with a guilty conscience and feels trapped. Yeah. Somebody, your person's gonna your person's gonna have a guilty conscience here, okay? And they're gonna be they're gonna be in this trap energy, jail, stuck, spiritual, physical, for what they did to you, for what they were trying to do to you, emulating you, copying you in some sort of way here, planning something against you. Some of these people working with a secret society to recruit you. Mm. Mm. But like we like like the card said, what's playing against you will not work, and it's 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 not working. Okay, and we see that within this reading, and this person is gonna end up trapped. This person is gonna get this person is gonna fall into their own trap. Okay, they they're gonna end up for what they try to do against you. They're gonna end up with a guilty conscience. Gonna be sh feeling ashamed. For doing what they try to do to you when you didn't do anything to them when you when you had like good intentions towards them when you were somebody who was helpful to them right yeah they're gonna end up this person yeah sometimes we see when people just don't care they do things and they just don't care and they're like oh well i did whatever no this person is really gonna see the error in their ways they're gonna see that they shouldn't have approached you like that or they shouldn't have done you like that like the wrong person i see somebody like dealing with a lot of anxiety yeah this person is going to be a head case bro dealing with a lot of fear nervousness and scared being scared i feel like that is because of karma okay it's giving me karma hitting this individual okay this person is going to be put on ice on ice they're going to be stopped in their track. So whatever they promised this coven, this group, whatever is, they're not going to be able to deliver on. Okay. Whatever they promised, whoever they, these demonic spirits or whatever, it's not going to go it's not going to work because you are controlling the energy that is around you. You are controlling, uh, what you allow yourself to be a part of. Okay. What you allow yourself to be around. Who you allow yourself to be around. See, these cards are just jumping out, bro. These are just jumping out. Surrounded by junk. Somebody I need to clean that room. <laughs> Somebody, on a side note, some of you guys may need to clean. It may be time to clean that room up. It may be time to throw some things out. Get rid of some things. And also, me talking about cleaning, this is also spiritual cleaning as well. Physical mental emotional cleansing what time is it hold up y'all yeah spiritual and emotional cleansing here all right somebody maybe may have been too busy to clean things up in their life or to really get away from some certain people who are bringing them out of balance but i see you coming back into balance and taking control just like a dj keeps takes control of the music and whatnot and plays what they want to hear right mix it mixes it how they want to mix it i feel like you're doing that with the frequencies with the energies you may be also 
achieving that by listening to certain uh, musical frequencies as well. All right. Mm. I feel like as a result. Wow. Okay. This. I feel like this person we're talking about here is going to end up in this exhaustion energy. Tired. Depleted. Drained. Sick. They may have had you feeling like that at one point because they're siphoning your energy. But I see. Uh, I see things turning around. I see when you taking control, clearing out the junk, the clutter, I see things turning around. And then when things, when that flow turns back and you start recalling your energy, this is going to leave this person feeling just like this. Okay. Trapped, feeling trapped, feeling stuck, feeling exhausted, feeling like they are, uh, what do you call it? Stagnant. This person is going to receive stagnancy, especially this is, is a co-worker. Okay. They're going to know what they did. It's going to be shown. It's going to play out for them and, it's, and they're going to know exactly what happened. This is not going to be one of those, one of those uh, situations to where it goes over the person's head. No, they're going to know exactly why things are happening the way that they're happening to them in their life. And they're going to have to deal with it. They made their bed and they're going to have to lie in it. Period. I don't know who put this person up to it. See, we got a karmic bond here. Somebody won. This was a lesson for everybody that was involved. A lesson for them to um, not be predatory, to not steal from people, to not be envious of another person, another man, another woman, to not lie on people, try to defame them and try to take what's theirs. For some people, I'm getting destiny. They try to destiny swap you. <clears throat> this person wanted to make create some sort of soul tie. <clears throat> because of their addiction to power and their addiction to you. <clears throat> and look at here, you know your self-worth. That's why they were so attracted to you. Because you know who you are. You wear a crown. And you know you're worthy of it. You know that that's your birthright. <clears throat> you know you're deserving of that. Your self-esteem is very, very high. And you value yourself. Okay. While this person is a whole house zombie. And what is a house zombie? That's somebody within your inner circle. Somebody who switched out on you. Somebody who came in. Uh, with roses and smiles, and then they ended up being an op, being your opposition, being an, an, an enemy. When they didn't have to go that route, okay? <clears throat> but they chose it. I feel like they, they, they saw you as an easy target, but that target wasn't that easy. You feel me? The target wasn't really that easy. Excuse me. Yeah, surrendering to the flow. Spirit telling y'all to surrender to the flow. I'm hearing surrender to the, to, to the cleansing that is taking place. Surrender to the divine support that you have around you right now. Okay? And here we go. This person is trapped. How are they going to be trapped? Stuck in the past. They're not going to know how to move on from this ending in their life. I feel like... They're going to come out of this with having lost a part of themselves in this moment. And they're not going to know how to get it back. Okay. While you are out here winning big time, you will be victorious. This is going to be the, uh, the mark of a huge milestone for you in your life. How you took your power back. How you chase your own happiness and peace. How you created that type of environment for yourself. How you walked away from all these karmic energies. And anybody siphoning off your energy and trying to take from you. How you walked away from all of that. And you still 
came out victorious, how they try to take from you, how they try to siphon from you, how they try to knock you down, how they try to blackball you, how they try to, what, the list goes on and on and on, but you, you are the victorious person, okay? Your crown is still on your head. You feel me? The crown is still on your head. It's still there. They didn't knock it off. They may have tried to. They walking around. You walking around with the, with the real thing, with the real crown. They're walking around with a, a Burger King paper. It's not even the plastic crown that you get from Party City. It's the plastic one you get from Burger King. You feel me? They you just put the little loop in the thing and put it on top of your head. But you have the real thing and you are nobody's victim, but you are a victor. You will win. You are winning. And nothing that is meant for you that they, they will be able to take. They will not be able to take anything that's meant for you. Okay, so keep shining. <laughs> All right, keep shining, keep smiling. Knowing you can always count on me for sure. That's what friends are for. Somebody has a divine friend around you. Somebody had a, a spirit guy that's around you that's just saying that. Somebody has a has an angel that's around you that's saying that. Because I look directly at the divine support card right here. Like you have a you have a spirit guide, an angel uh, that's around you. Uh it could be an ancestor that really cares about you, that's protecting you as well. Yeah. This person thought wrong, but they quickly learn or they quickly they are quickly learning. That you're not the one to be played with. You can't just look at somebody. You cannot just single a person out or, or uh, go out and pick somebody in the crowd and say, I'm going to do this in X, Y, Z to them just because I want it. <laughs> it don't work like that. Mm -mm. Because sometimes you don't know. See, that's the thing about it, right? People get people get people lead with a false sense of security. They 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 I'm, I'm getting um the illusions of grandeur. OK, they feel like. You know, they're so much caught into their ego. They feel like, oh, I can get away with this. I can do this. I'm so powerful, whatever. But they don't know who you have protecting you. They have no clue. They have no clue what type of uh, protective barriers are set up around you. And, to, and then they don't realize that until they find themselves stripped of their own gifts or power, everything that they stole from you, stripped away from them. And then they're, they're ended up in the jail. Some of these people in physical jail for whatever they've been doing out here in these streets that that is catching up to them. And some of them are in spiritual jails, OK? Plagued to roam the earth. Like a good old house zombie. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's what I got for you guys for this message, OK? Uh, thank you guys for being open to the messages here. Much love and light to everybody out there. Y'all take care. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao.